Hello, Sun Tribe. In my hand is an array of all the dang hairstyles I have had over this past year. Some were good, some were real bad, and some I just looked flat out ugly in. See, we're gonna talk about these. All of these. Hey, Sun Tribe, what it do? Never, never again. I even went to another color because I was thinking, oh, maybe I got the wrong color and that's why it didn't work. No, it just didn't work. This, this, this. I even got two more right here. And don't even ask me what's in my closet. <laughs> but we are gonna get into it. This video is about everything you need to know about synthetic hair when working out and what's the best ones. Because of course, if you've seen my videos or you're new to my channel, I am in the ocean a lot. Like 365 days of the year. What do we have, 52 weeks in, in a year? I think I'm in the ocean at least half of them. I'm in the ocean at least once a week, every single week of every year. It's rare that I'm not in the ocean, by the ocean, something, doing something or working out in some kind of way. So with that said, I think I'm a pretty good, you know, judge of character when it comes to synthetic hair. I've been talking about synthetic hair for many, many years. I started wearing synthetic hair back in the 90s um, and just haven't stopped. I mean, there was a time when I did wear human hair for a while. I went through a human hair stage when lace fronts first came out. I really loved lace fronts and you couldn't get lace fronts with synthetic hair at the time. So lace fronts was a big thing. I used to sell my own hair and had, you know, used to travel with many different hair companies to talk about hair extensions and to talk about how to work with uh, lace front technology. And it was a good time, but you know, over that time, the quality of hair started getting really um, unpredictable. And I was worried about my clients and the integrity because once the hair goes bad, you know, you have to refund everybody their money and then you lose money and then I had to do everybody's hair back over again. And that's just the way I did business, you know? And so I saw that after a while, there was a lot of losses with that. And me being um, plant-based into holistic living, and when you're, when you're plant-based into holistic living and you don't eat meat, you become very intuitive and very psychic. And so having other humans' hair in my head, it was like, and hair is antennas. Hair picks up a lot of energy. I started to feel the energy of others in my hair. So synthetic hair for me was, uh, I mean, human hair. Human hair for me was um, a very intense thing sometimes. Sometimes I could feel like a royal queen and then other times it would just seem like stuff was crazy. I was having bad dreams. I was having crazy dreams and I was kind of, I was, I was wondering like where the hell is this coming from, you know? So me being a synthetic hair fan, especially being in the ocean on a regular basis and before I was in the ocean, I was always in a gym, swimming in a pool and so I love synthetic hair. You know, I love to change my hair color a lot. I love to change the different kinds of curl patterns because for some reason, you know, every curl pattern for me doesn't look right at every time. Like the curl patterns I can wear in the summertime is not the same curl patterns I like in the wintertime. And especially with my skin tone changing, like I, I'm, I'm like literally four colors a year. Like in the wintertime, I can, you know, I'm a light-skinned woman. <laughs> in the summertime, I get really, really brown, brown, brown. 
and I usually wear lighter colors when I'm brown. I love when my skin is golden and brown and everything like that. And so I tend to play with hair color a lot. I just like the different styles, the different colors. Sometimes it's subtle changes you can't tell. Sometimes it's bold. Like I'm not as bold as I used to be when I was younger. Like I used to do really, really bold colors. But um, and sometimes I think about it. You know, I, I'm I be feeling those lilacs sometimes. Like I be really wanting to get into the purples. But when I look at my closet and everything in it, I'm like, no, you have to buy a whole new wardrobe just to wear those colors. So. I tend to stick with the same like earth tone colors and auburns and copper. I really love the way it looks on my skin and the colors I wear. It brings out, you know, the features in my skin tone and my eyes because other uh, hair colors, you can't tell my eye color. It looks really drab. So I really love synthetic hair and they, they've actually changed synthetic hair over the years. Like, if you're noticing in the stores, you know synthetic hair is changing a lot. Like, we went through a whole stage of where you can find um, um, the, the five pack, the bundle pack, where you get the lace front. At first, they started off with a small lace front base with the hair, and then they got to the bigger bases with the hair and different ones. And now we're seeing that they're back to selling the bundles, but without the lace fronts. And that is a direct, you know, that is that is with intention, a direct business intention to make you um, and just to, just to discourage you from buying synthetic hair and to start buying human hair again because the companies realize, especially Korean companies, Chinese companies, they realize that they make more money with the human hair and that since more women are going, you know, chemical free, natural hair, um, more natural styles that look like our hair texture that we're not we don't we don't we're not interested in human hair anymore so they're kind of like trying to create this discouraging discouragement with buying human hair with buying synthetic hair excuse me they're they're purposely doing that and i know this because i've worked with a lot of hair companies over the years and and i used to work in the back of um, beauty supplies and a lot of Korean beauty supplies. I had a private room in the back of the beauty supply doing a lot of different hair, learning about hair, learning about the companies and what they wanted to push on hairstylists about hair. And, um, you know, the agenda is to always get us back to human hair and to want straight hair. So it's not by accident that they want us to have straight hair. And the only reason why we have more braiding hair, crochet hair, and as you see, the crochet hair is, is going up in price too. You see that? And they're slowly trying to get silkier. And you know why they're doing that? Because the agenda is to get you back towards straighter hair. And to get back to straighter hair, you're going to have to be chemically dependent again. So that is their push too, to push chemical, you know, dependency on another generation. But we have the power. We got the power to change this. And I'm so happy that um, I have been a part of this, you know, natural hair community for a long time and have always pushed natural hairstyles. If you look back at my videos like 10 years ago, I was doing this from the beginning of YouTube. Why I'm not monetized right now, I don't know. But this has always been something that um, I have um, always been a part of. And uh, synthetic hair, you know, if, I mean, there's things online, articles I wrote back in the day online um, for different hair companies when synthetic wasn't popular and we only had like Baytech in the stores and that shady Tacocalon hair. <laughs> but this is me talking about, you know, for 2021 hairstyle synthetic hair that you can work out in, play in the ocean, and live a life. Yes, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Uh -huh.
I really enjoy wearing this full cap wig, which was by Bobby Boss, the trendy wig, Alina, and the color was 42730. It was for a photo shoot I did this summer when I was healing my shoulder cuff and could not surf regularly in the water. And so I was playing in the water with it. I got my hair wet and look at that. I just think that it was beautiful and it gave me a very, you know, exotic look. The style is Billy and this is the Outre Lace Front Synthetic Wig. And, now, um, yeah, I'm done. that morning, I went to take a birthday surf and my hair looked a hot mess when I got out of the ocean. But now this was after I shampooed it with, or cleansed it rather, with black soap, detangling leave-in spray that's was sulfate free and the icy Brazilian oil-free serum and look at it I didn't really do anything other than that I it was a super low maintenance but while it was in the ocean it I guess it didn't like the salt water but it looked pretty good afterwards my hair looked actually better and more natural like it was my own I will probably get a darker color the next time I wear this hair, but I love the texture of this Jamaican twist wave in the bundle pack that comes with the lace front. The lace front is, is a little small, but overall, I really like the texture of this hair. It does well in the water, and the older it gets, the better and more natural I felt it look. The big, beautiful hair collection by Outre again in this spiral curl is really really nice this is probably one of my all-time favorites I probably mix up the colors I actually have mixed up the colors so many times worn this particular hair texture in variations of color made it short long whatever I really love this hair it's very reasonable and it lasts long, it looks good in the ocean. The older it looks, the better it gets. So these are my favorites. With that said, you know, I have to sew my hair on and these right here, you know, I started off with the T30. I thought maybe it was the hair color was wrong. So I end up going back and buying, going by the copper one. I was like, oh, I made a mistake and I got the wrong color and both were a mess. And this hair did not last. Like, literally the back looked like the worst afro like this. This was not it. This that this hair did not end up looking like this. It looked like the worst afro. I mean, the hair was like 20 inches big off my head. I love big hair, but this ain't the style for it. And the, the lace at the front of it to, it, it was so, stretchy I would say so stretchy it felt more like you know there's even different kinds of you know um, synthetic laces that they use and the one they use felt like a stocking so it moved a lot it was just it just moved too much it wrinkled in my forehead so it looked like it was some wrinkles looked like it was some dents in my forehead this was the worst hair I tried to even cut out half of this hair I tried to cut half of it off and then create something in the back like I, I just said let me just cut off the base which um, the lace base and then sew some other hair because it was as big so this was the most expensive worst mess I have ever used this was a big disappointment it looked beautiful online it looked beautiful on the package but completely a disappointment and I lost money and I tried to wear it once in the water yeah, that's that hair. It looked a mess, right? A hot mess. Luckily, I'm cute, but it was a hot mess. Let me tell you that was better than this. This one actually was so close to this. Yep, this Dominican, it was so close. This was cheaper. This was like $30. 
And this cost me like 60, 70, 70 or 80 bucks. This one was much, much better than this one was. So this one right here, whack. This one right here, fun.